And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. I am doing another video on my turmeric plant. I just transplanted this December 2nd. And the other turmeric plant is flowering now and would you believe it's root bound again? This plant is growing at an alarming rate. I'm overwintering it and my uh, basement under a grow light and I have been remarkably shocked, surprised, amazed at how well this turmeric plant is overwintering in my under my grow light and I started another turmeric and this is actually growing in my bay window with the northern exposure so these turmeric plants are fairly easy to grow indoors and they grow well outdoors during the summertime. But again, I started this outside last summer in 2019, and I'm just amazed at how well it's taken off. And then I started this about two months ago. It is in a bay window with a northern exposure and it's doing very, very well. You can see I've got two plants. And then I also use what they call a humidifier tray where I put water in the pebble so it can get moisture around. So I am not going to play this time. I'm not playing around this time. I'm replanting this turmeric plant in a big pot and believing that I'm gonna have a great harvest in spring. Now keep in mind, it takes 10 months for turmeric plants to mature, just as ginger. And if you look at my previous video, I also, if you looked at my previous video, I also, repotted my ginger plant that I'm overwintering under my grow light doing very well so with the rate this plant is growing and it's already root bound after a month I decided I am going to give it as much room as it needs I'm really excited that I'm gonna have a pretty good harvest come spring of 2020 because the rate is growing. This plant's probably going to get about three, four feet tall. I mean, this plant right now is about maybe a foot and a half and has grown quite a bit from the last time I did the video, which was a month ago, and repotted it. So without any further ado, let's get this plant transplanted. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and take it off my humidifier tray and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up and I let it dry up so I could pull it up. Look at that. That's in one month. One month and look at this. I got another plant coming right over here. This is amazing. This is my first time growing a turmeric plant and my first time overwintering it and I'm growing both these turmeric plants under two different conditions. This one's in a bay window in a northern exposure, and this one's under my grow light. And I am just, again, remarkably surprised at how well it's doing. I noted in my last videos that organic turmeric here in Colorado is very expensive. I go to all the natural food stores to find organic turmeric. A, I can't find them. B, when I do find them, they're not in good shape. And three, they're very expensive. This is what drove me to try to grow my own turmeric. And I am just absolutely amazed at how well it's doing. So if anyone thinks they can't grow a turmeric plant in zone 5B, as you can see, there's snow all around, but we're in our fifth, yes. <laughs> but you know, we're in our, it's, it's in the 50s, the sun is out. I was able to do this outdoors. I don't have a coat on. So of course I have to overwinter these plants but again, zone 5B, it can be done to, to, in order to have organic turmeric. So let me go ahead and backfill this pot. I'm backfilling the pot with an organic potting mix. And as you can see, I literally tripled the size of the pot because this plant is growing so fast. It, I, I, I'm actually amazed. So I'm actually backfilling this right now. And 
And I, I, I did not fertilize this turmeric plant because it was overwintering um, in my, under my grow light. But I keep it watered well. I think it's in a, a, I think it's in a great environment. I think the conditions are really good. And this may be the reason why I've been successful at um, growing this turmeric plant. Now, these plants can get up to four feet tall. So I am going to have to place this plant on the floor, uh, right up next to the table where I had it before. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more soil to it. And the soil I had in the pot, right where I placed the plant, it was already watered down. So I already had that watered down. So when I bring this plant indoors, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good watering. The cool air is a little, this is a little cool for them, so I, because it's 50 degrees, but it's still chilly out here. So I don't want to keep this plant outdoors too long, but I did need an open space to try to repop this. So I'm gonna press down firmly around the plant to try to get the air pockets out. Okay. I think I got it this time. All right, so this is excellent. Okay, so I love the feel of soil. You can tell when you're a true gardener. <laughs> you love playing in the soil and I love it. Oh, it's just, just something about just feeling the soil on your hands and everything. All right, folks, here we go. I am so excited again, one month later, that you saw how root bound this plant is. It's growing so well. I'm excited. I'm more excited about being able to get a nice harvest of organic turmeric. And now that I know you can grow a turmeric plant in zone 5B, who knows? Maybe this one I may be able to put outside. Maybe when it's about this size, because it is. It takes 10 months for it to mature. But now I realize how successful you can grow turmeric plants. I'm just gonna start continuing to grow turmeric. Um, once I harvest this, I'm gonna break those pieces off, those fresh pieces off, let them dry a little, cure a little, and then grow as many turmeric plants as I can during the summer months. And now that I know that they can be overwintered very well, under a green light, or even in a bay window on a, in a northern exposure, it's exciting to know that it is not difficult to grow turmeric plants indoors with natural light, again, northern exposure, or under a green light. And this plant has just extraordinarily taken off. So I just wanted to share my success with you northern gardeners that this can be done. And this, I've got two plants right here. And as you can see, this one has already flowered. But the second plant is flowering. And then you saw the third one coming up when I had the soil exposed. So apparently a grow light uh, with the um, humidifier tray has created such a great condition for both these plants that they're thriving and doing very well. So I just wanted to give you an update about my turmeric plant and just wanted to share my success. And hopefully by spring of next year, I will be, uh, we'll be talking about harvesting my turmeric. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.